I went ahead and played one more game. <laughs> just one more, man. Just one more. <laughs> man, cardboard crack, man. Uh, so yeah, Death in Texas. Um, <clears throat> I, I feel pretty comfortable with it. Uh, I don't really have much for lock pieces, but I have bridge, I have hand disruption, got combo disruption if I need it. So I figured, uh, for, just from the planes, I figured it's either uh, Death and Taxes or, uh, what's the name of that card? Uh, that Amiria deck. But I see Thalia, I was like, well, it's Death and Taxes. Um, I could have popped off Thalia right then and there. but So I grabbed Thalia with that because the other dude costs more. And I'm going to kill this Thalia anyways. It might have been gra uh, correct to grab the other one, but, you know. So I kill Thalia. Land Needle. <clears throat> name Ghost Quarter. Land Needle. Name that sword that I saw in my opponent's hand. So I just gotta worry about a 2 1 flyer until I land bridge next turn. There's Bridge. Play the bell. And I can blind mill at will because I have Noxious Survival in hand to recur. Yeah, I go to Thought Seize, pick apart whatever else my opponent might have drawn, and opponent concedes. So, game two. I don't think my opponent has a way to get past Bridge, really. Aside from try to keep me off of lands, but that's not going to happen thanks to that Pithy Needle on Ghost Quarter. So this one, of course, I expect, well, I have this set up. Uh, I expect my opponent is going to side in Stony Silence and all that, uh, rest in peace, so on. So uh, I keep this with the Abrupt Decay, and I have early lock. And God, I love drawing Ethergrid in this matchup. <laughs> uh, suppression Field is what my opponent ended up playing, so I go ahead and Shredder now while I still can. Suppression Field is a lot like Blood Moon against me. Uh, it does hurt a little bit, but you know what? It's fine. Go ahead and get the lock out. And I have two mana to mill that thing. Uh, that thing I'm not so happy about. That flyer dude there. I seriously screw up there. I misplay hardcore. I should have tapped that Ruins <coughs> and uh, before I played this one because then I would have been able to play Ethergrid. But no, I messed up. So, oh well. Of course I'm going to go and search out a, a land there. Stupid empty What? Crap. Okay, there we go. Uh, so now I play the other grid. It would have been nice to be able to play it a turn sooner because then I could have pinged out that wing there a lot earlier. But I know that 3 5 flyer is going to deal some damage to me, but I am okay. Uh, I kill the suppression field and then start pinging off critters. And grab uh, Thalia out of my opponent's hand. It was probably correct to grab the Wingmare there instead of the Thalia, but yeah, because I gotta start pinging off dudes here. I was hoping for a bridge, but I got Pirate Spell Bomb instead. But Pirate Spell Bomb and Ether Grid will allow me to kill the only creature my opponent has now, and I can ping off anything else my opponent draws. So. It is okay. I got plenty of time to do it. I'm going to really slow clock here. Uh, so I revival that Ancient Stirrings. Again, hoping to try to get Bridge. Instead, I get a Needle out of it. So, uh, <coughs> Needle Ghost Quarter set myself up. I'm going to kill off the uh, little dude. Ping my opponent, why not? Uh, grab a sp uh, I mill myself into a spell sky, I don't need another needle, so. I didn't. 
I could have killed that flyer dude there, but I, I didn't. I don't know. I'm sick. I didn't see it. <laughs> so this time I do kill it off. If, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. I kill it off. And the opponent concedes. Because I'm not going to let my opponent draw anything anything else relevant for the rest of the game. And I'm just, I got my opponent on a slow clock now. And I can kill off any creature my opponent draws. So, that is game. Good old Death and Taxes. Seems to be a pretty good matchup. <laughs>